When it comes to making reaction videos, what a lot of aspiring video creators do not know is that these videos are done with a complicated setup using streaming software such as OBS or StreamYard, you know, the one with the little duck on it, that can be extremely confusing for the beginning user. But what if I told you there's a much simpler and inexpensive way to create reaction videos with this screen recording software that contains all the benefits of OBS and StreamYard in a more concise fashion? Did I mention that it was cheap and inexpensive as well? Come on, let me go ahead and show you at the computer. All right, so beginning in this tutorial, you see that I have this video on one of my favorite YouTube creators, Alex Ramosi. And if you wanted to do a reaction video, all right, you see that I'm only going to play a little bit of this. All right, so I'm not going to play the whole entire video right now because I don't know what his if his video is set on uh, Creative Commons or standard YouTube license right now. So we're not going to play that clip. Let's say you wanted to just react to something that he did. All right. You want to create reaction videos at a very inexpensive, affordable price, very convenient, very easy and everything else. And though you see that my square here, my little recording square, which I can move around in any kind of way that I want to. I'm going to show you how to enlarge this post editing so you can actually set it up to where it looks like what you usually see with other YouTubers in the reaction space, especially within the um, the gender war <laughs> industry or, or, or section of YouTube where there's a lot of reaction videos going on there. All right. Uh, but the reaction video business is booming right now. And if you're trying to get into that, whatever niche you're in, this software is very good, very inexpensive. Now, what you probably want to know is can will this show up here if I go full screen now while I'm recording, I can't see none of the, the actual play tools, none, none of the features, none of the functions in terms of the play hit or not anything like that. Um, I'm going to hit play again. All right. So. If I wanted to react to his video and just talk about getting people to do the work, I don't believe in people doing the work that sit up here. That's that's dumb. That's stupid and everything else. But I think you guys get the point right now. So I'm gonna hit escape. All right. So we can go back here to the screen. And, you know, if you also have some other things that you can also do, too, if you wanted to actually enter into the drawing mode, I'm going to click this pencil. If I wanted to just sit up here and um, I don't know, highlight his eyes or something like that or something I wanted to emphasize or I wanted to take a shape all right while I'm actually recording and reacting to the video these are basically instructional tools but if I wanted to actually mark on them and really step my game up and set myself apart from other traditional reaction videos and I wanted to emphasize some things or there were some things we wanted to explore in the video I could draw shapes here in real time as you can see here draw arrows all the way over here all right being really creative with screencast so matic so many features in a very simplified way and actually I don't even want to say so many features the right features enough features enough tools for you to really be creative and, and really take the reaction space set yourself apart differently and do what you gotta do um, here in this in this well as well so what we're going to do next is we're going to go now into the post editing feature so we can actually see uh, what this is going to look like and how you can actually resize your little um, screen recording screen here the little window that's right here that I'm moving around to really make it look like you're on the phone or, you know, a standard vertical screen or what have you. So I'll see you guys over there in the editing section. All right. So now we are on the editing section of screencast o here. And there's several things that I can actually do right now. So if I wanted to actually uh, bring this down a little bit to center more on the video, I'm actually click here within the actual screen and I'm going to drag over here on the main video section so we can kind of zoom that in. Because usually I don't like to have the uh, zoomed in too much. I usually don't like to have the domain address being listed. So that's just me, privacy reasons or what have you. So if I wanted to just zoom in like that and I'm going to hit OK right here. And so now for the web video. So if I wanted to make this look like a, let's see here. I'm going to stretch this. And mind you, I, I am doing this on a Mac. All right. I'm doing this on a Mac. So this is going to constrain the proportions right now, but I'm going to show you here in a second how we can make this more vertical. All right. All right. So it's almost has to cover up the whole screen, but just bear with me for a second here. Okay. Just bear with me here. So now I'm going to play around here. Uh oh, I zoomed in way too much. All right. 
zoomed in way way too much so okay so it's going to be the crop section because we already resized it so now we're going to crop so now that I've enlarged it we're going to bring this over all right so I can make adjustments as needed okay and right now this may be a little bit too big for you but right now I just want to actually kind of show you that if you're trying to make it fit your the actual screen to match up with whatever it is that you're actually doing for your reaction video and you're trying to split screen it we can actually move this part over some here a little bit so I'm going to yep there we go sorry for any slowdown because I'm using two screen recording pieces to um, catch this right now all right so I'm editing on screencast so Matic, I'm using a different screen recorder so I can actually talk about it. a very basic one on quick time right now on this Mac so I can actually show you but you can't really do the um, reaction videos like you can here on quick screencast omatic so I do apologize about that but you can crop you can go in a post edit and do what you need to do um, stretch the um, the actual screen to fit however you need it to so you can make your reaction ready so now we're going to hit OK now that we actually have everything um, now I'm pretty happy with this setup when it goes full screen we can actually just come down here so during the editing process post editing you can really make your video stand out uh, very inexpensive very affordable very quick and easy than having to sit up here and get OBS or um, stream yard or anything like that and I know those have premium features but they can be very complicated to set up as I spoke about here earlier in the video but you can actually do with screencast o -Matic. if you want to take the narration off you want to take the computer sounds off you can just go ahead and click these two um, check boxes the narration and the computer sound if you want to get rid of the mouse cursor and not even have it you can just do that or if you don't want your webcam to show at all you can just actually click off of that as well and it'll just disappear click back on it to make it reappear so if you're doing reaction videos I think this is very perfect for you to do it um, until you actually get this kind of set up and when you're able to invest the money and get the the complicated setup the very heavy production setup necessary in order to make the the super reaction videos but for now I think this would actually fit you and your needs perfectly if you're just starting out in your reaction based video career that's going now what I'm wanting to show you now that we've actually got done with that tutorial is the actual pricing just for the solo deluxe plan right now and when I say uh, affordable and expensive and like compare it to any other software that you're going to use right now it's at a discounted rate of 25 percent off um, usually I actually got screencast o -Matic back in 2018 and it was $18 so I guess with inflation and some of the other features they added the price went up but this is still a steal let me actually get a pen let me let me draw around this this is a steal right here all right for screen recording software and I know there's other pieces of software by default that come with devices but when you're trying to actually make the type of videos such as reaction videos instructional videos etc this is going to be a very good price so the link is going to be in within the pin comment below all right for you to try screencast Matic. it is an affiliate link so i um gladly disclose that to be very transparent up front to you but the whole reason i'm doing this video is just just to kind of show you because i've been using screencast since 2018 and during the pandemic has helped me to create vast number of instructional videos i've been using to make a lot of my youtube videos already to when i needed to actually grab footage of other videos gifts when I was actually making explainer videos, analysis videos, essay videos, retrospectives, all that, I've been using screencast o -Matic for multiple purposes. And it has never felt me in those regards. And right now, I've never actually thought about even doing it with reaction videos until I started playing around with it and just wanted to show you that this is also software that you can use to start your grind with making those reaction videos because reaction videos as i said before is a big business and if you want to drop and, and start making something of it but you need you don't have much money to make the investment but you have a simple laptop you have the internet you have a very decent laptop you can go ahead and you can get started using screencast o -Matic and, and not even wait around for you to uh, try obs or anything that's complicated as those pieces of software very simple very stripped down and easy for you to use all right